Good morning, YouTube. What you're looking at is a telehandler. I got hit by a train. This thing is all jacked up. It looks like some tweakers had stolen this thing, took it for a joyride, and landed it on the tracks. You can see up there behind that worker with the orange helmet, there's three tires on the tracks. So we're working with Railroad PD right now. They have a whole uh, railroad shut down right here. Horrible. We're gonna have to do their investigations and whatnot and check out the track. So that gives Alex and I plenty of time to work out a game plan. Now when this job came in, we didn't have pictures or anything. They just sat on the train tracks. And when we do uh, train jobs, not all of them you can access. We don't know how far deep this thing's gonna be, so I brought Hulk and he brought Big Flipper. But it looks like this is accessible where that excavator's at. So I'm gonna have Alex back up here, right here, pick this thing up off the side and rotate it 180 degrees directly onto the landall, which is gonna be parked where 88 park right there and then I'll do the easy part I'll just start getting those tires off the tracks we'll do everything at the same time it's for one of my good accounts it gives us all kinds of these cool jobs as you see here this is going to be another issue is um, retracting this boom to put on the land all See if the mechanic has any ideas now the reason we can't pull it from there that's a big no-no we went over that with them right now is this arm despite not having a tire it's resting up on this track and it's pretty far out big flipper can't reach all the way i mean it's got 42 feet of boom but it wouldn't be able to deadlift this thing they don't want us to pull at any angle even a slight one because it could mess up the track right here and get it off center well, that's why Alex is just going to park right here next to it and deadlift the whole thing. What an absolute mess, man. You know, truth be told, for being hit by a train, it's not that bad. But what do I know? I'm just a YouTuber. So I can leak a lot of stuff right here, too. This is the point of impact. And that Lando here will just pull up here. And Alex will just do a pick and swing. We're clear to start working it already. I'll get the little baby tires. Okay. <laughs> All right, so because I'm doing the, the little baby tires, uh, I want to single out my lines by removing the snatch blocks. Well, just one. I'm only going to use one line for this.
Ah. All right, perfect. Looks like Alex already has his outriggers done, man. We'll work this one super quick. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. That is hilarious. When I had first asked if this was movable so he could back in here, they told me that the operator wasn't in. Oh, that is hilarious. Hilarious, hilarious. I didn't even think to ask them for help on this part. Normally when you get a job, you gotta do, you're married to it from start to finish every aspect. It's all good. Just makes off Alex. What's up, Rolando? Wamp, wamp, sorry, hole. You want to laugh? The excavator took my job. I know, I saw. <laughs> I didn't even think to ask if they'd be able to do it. Yeah, I just thought homeboy was just gonna back up and that was it. What's up, man? All right, so since Oak ain't doing nothing right now, I'm gonna fly up uh, Alex's drone. And do something cool, so instead of um, being up close and personal with the DJI, I'll record this whole thing from a bird's eye view. Excellent choice. Looks like he's using the two platinum slings up front and two platinum slings in the back. These platinum slings are good for 30,000 pounds each in a vertical. Looks like he's using the 18 ton shackle as well. And Rolando has a mechanic in route for this part. You can see better how the tracks are right here. They got all jacked up from the, uh, the impact. So if the mechanic can't fix this, what they can do is they can torch it. And then we'll use the excavator to manually retract this boom. And we can't transport it out. Extend it like that. Yeah. Yeah, you remember you do the ND16. Oh, 
Foundry hooks? Foundry hooks to those eyes. <coughs> Yeah. Let me put this on that side. Yeah. Put on here a little bit. Just to protect that paint right there. Okay. So it looks like Alex uh, got a wear pad right here to protect the paint. This is all synthetic. This is cool. But that connection point right there, this looks like it's fairly, I mean, it got hit by a train, but still. And then threw up one of these urethane sleeves cut in half for the edge. This part's the very easy part. These things have some phenomenal lift points right here. Makes it very easy for Alex. Sometimes these cables tend to have a tendency to want to twist and you got to catch that before you put tension on it or it'll stay twisted and that's how you can damage your lines. So that's what Alex is doing right now. You want the lines perfectly parallel. Here, tighten up, I'll put it in. One side, yeah. You can start going in already. I'll tell you when, because I have to readjust it. Okay, hold it. Yeah, clutch. Yep. Clutch, clutch, clutch. Your thing's landing. Let me change the battery. Wow, we got a live one. Don't worry. We'll get your brother out soon.
Success, Alex. There it is, off the tracks, the excavator got the tires for us. Mechanics still on the way? Yeah. All right. We'll just hold it there. Yeah. Good job.
These things look funny without the tires. Right there! Full forward, little more. That's fine. We want the mechanic to show up first or what? So Alex is going to hold it in position. What he did is he boomed all the way up and retracted the cables to get it nice and tight with the truck. Flipper's incredibly strong off the side. 
So this will be no problem to hold this plank. Hopefully homeboy gets here soon because it's hot, dude. I'm pretty good at this filming stuff. I should become a YouTuber. Let everything cool down and I'll get back to you when the mechanics here guys. Hold on. Ah, what was that bro? Oh yeah, this one's gonna be on YouTube in a couple weeks, man. Thank you for the support. Be safe out there or I'll have to rescue you. <laughs> Later bro. Ah, well that was cool. Love getting recognized. And you see, that's another thing right now. That fan that just passed by, he's a car hauler. Looks like he's, this is a bunch of dealerships, by the way. We're in Rolling Heights. There's all kinds of dealerships right here. In a street like this, a back street that connects them all where these guys enter from, this is another reason why the rotator is king. You got the, uh, I don't need a rotator crowd that realistically only posts easy jobs that you could do with any truck. But you never see them doing stuff like this with it integrated you'd have to be backed up to this and it would kill this street indefinitely blocking all major entrance to uh, all these the back lots of all these dealerships i think there's audi toyota this one's toyota subaru honda nissan and they all enter from here bam So the rotator is able to work off the side like this. But being able to work off the side like this is just so clutch, man. And shout out to that guy on YouTube when he sees this. I'm gonna, you want me to move my truck? I'm good? This guy's the definition of I don't need a rotator. On little intricate things like this, oh yeah. A thousand times faster, better, and more efficient. Pick it up, set it, and scoot it. Because this thing's missing the wheels. It's gonna sit uneven on the bed, so they're gonna use the tires to prop it. Is he good? You're good, bro. You trying to get through? I think you'll fit. Well, no, I can fit, but I mean, nobody said. Typical. <laughs> he can fit. I've got plenty of room. Yeah, go for it, man. Okay. I didn't want to move. I'll move them for you. Oh. 
Okay. Is that the new Range Rover on the back? Yeah, you don't want it, dude. What? All you gotta do, I'm, I'm dead serious, go down to Newport Beach, to Range Rover down there, and go look in their service, man. Oh my God. That it's bad? Unreal. Well, they look nice. Oh, they look great. So they changed the suspension on them too, but the Sport, and, uh, like that's a Sport right there. I've always heard that the Range Rovers have horrible, the engine problems and stuff. Oh yeah. You ought to see the ones that are sitting in there with the whole front end dropped out. You know? Oh, horrible. It is a, it. it is a pretty truck though. A pretty SUV. It's like 22s. Yeah, it's not that pretty. But this is exactly what I was talking about earlier. About being able to work in confined spaces and keeping lanes open. That's one thing as this channel grows, I get a lot of new followers, a lot of new viewers. But you guys notice right away, we're so big on uh, working with minimal lane closures and allowing traffic. We got that instilled to us from my, my father. He's always been like that, you know, let traffic through, never disrupt. A lot of the other guys around here, they'll shut down the whole freeway, backed up to a container for hours. I cringe at that stuff, man. Joshua! Joshua, take that off, Josh. I know you're... Oh. Hopefully the wheel placement is supreme on this one. If this drops, is that counterweight going to clear the bed, the deck? It should. Okay, I'll monitor from here. No, yeah, I know. That's why I'm scared because this is... <clears throat> Got Commander Alex over there. Gently working the cables. It's buttery smooth. Inch this thing over.
Very nice. Oh my god, I didn't even see this. Check this out, guys. Snapped clean. I've never seen a casing snap like that. Then again, how often do you see these things hit by trains? I barely noticed a casing snap like that, man. Like a toothpick. Alex has touched on already right there. Now he's got an anchor. He can use the lines to get it where he wants it. Oh, yeah. It is going to clear that. Great. It's leaking too. Oh, I see what you mean. It's bent. Yeah, the, the boom is bent. So it's straight back there, but it's sticking out right there. Whoa. Yeah, we got to retract that thing fully. Yeah. yeah, this thing's going to coal part, man. Richie Brothers, wherever. I don't think there's any fixing this. It didn't look bent from over there, but yeah. <laughs> yeah think about a full, a fully loaded locomotive hitting it. Oh, of course it'll do some damage. Well, look at the cap. <laughs> yeah, it's it's completely tweaked in the middle. That is some insane damage, man. All right, guys, now that Alex has it on here, I am going to cut the video and wait for the mechanic. Quick water break. Go right there? Yeah, I think when you drop it, it will stabilize the tip from which back.
Yeah, they have to try to push it in, huh? Yeah. Okay, you trying to push it in? Hold on, let me put the, let me ground it, hold on. Hold up. Hold on, that's fine. Go ahead. Ah, it's gonna drop it. Ah. Hey! You wanna put a chain on it? We were just trying to do this before the mechanic got here. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like it's not going to go in. We'll remove the carriage, and then we'll uh, we'll strap it down and, and tie it down towards your... Yeah, we'll do it. I'll hold it right there. You want me to hold it or are you going to start chaining it? Oh, sorry. Can I start it? Oh. I want to start it with the engine and No? There's no power, nothing? We were over there? Uh huh. There was power right on it up. Oh, you do? Yeah. No, he has his own keys. Oh, his own keys? Yeah. <laughs> oh. there's, there's no power around. Right? Dude, this one should come out nice because I was able to record everything. I know. I like that. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. I wonder if Union Pacific has a video of it when it hit. I think they do. Wow. They were able to get it started. Now let's see if they could retract it. Yeah, there we go. Well, that's as far as it'll retract because of the chain. But he could at least bring it down. Yeah, let me back up to it, man. I'll back up to it. And then we'll just take it hanging out. So wait, it can't go down because the boom is hitting the cab right there. And it can't retract any further. So I'm going to take yeah. off the forks. They're going to pop that pin and Hulk's going to suspend it. Finally get to use my truck. This guy was super cool though. The operator had to bounce. Very valuable guy right there. 
You're saying lower the boom so when it hits that little guide, it pushes it out. Is that what you're saying? No, no. I'm saying that there's no way you guys can hook up like a winch cable from over there and just pull the cab because obviously the cab is pushing the, the whole boom that way. Oh, I get what you're saying. You see how it's all that way? Yeah. Just move out of the way, it, it might fall in place. But if you keep lowering, it's just going to bust out that cab. Yeah. Either or. Keep up. 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 Pop it out more. Okay, do that. Because um, if we attach a winch cable, the only thing that's holding it up is just from those four points. Yeah, it, it's, it's not. It's gonna. There's not a, enough weight on the floor for it to winch over. If you make any sense. Yeah, right now we'll just take off the, the carriage, and then if you don't mind, just twisting it a little bit. Yeah, I'll just have to twist it from this side because uh, on yeah. that rear wheel. Yeah, we we'll need that, that wheel a little bit. Yeah. I think I do. What did we put it here? Back up. Uh -huh. I took this pin out. 
Okay. okay. This is supposed to push out out of this pocket. Okay. So it can lift out of this. Makes right? sense. Yeah. So I don't know if you guys want to squeeze the forks together and then somehow cradle this so you can slide it out. Uh, just so it doesn't, when it comes out of this, it doesn't swing all over the place. Yeah. So you guys can okay. try to figure that out. So he explained to me, it has to come out of this pocket out and then up because it's locked in this pin right here. It so, can't go straight up? No. It has to go out and then up. I need to be pushing it. No, you can't move that. My deck winch. Yeah. Makes sense. Get it, okay, wait, coach.
Can you can you turn it on and tilt it forward, please? Forward. You want yeah. me to let go of tension? Yeah, let go of tension on this chain, please. And then he's gonna just basically tilt down. Yeah, that way there's enough. That way there's enough room. That's probably what it is. Top tilt down. Tilt forward. Can you get it from there instead? Stupid thing. Where do you want it? here for now. Finally I get to use Hulk. This big flipper loves stealing the show. By the way, look again how tweaked that cab is. The rear tires are straight. You see the front out outriggers, those are straight on the bed. But look how far this thing sticks out and tracks. did is I joined these really quick to a single cable. It's going to help right now when we want to spin it to put it on this guy's bed. You'll see.
See how Rolando's spinning it with ease? Right there? Yeah, I'm just gonna move the block real quick. Oh, okay, okay, okay. By the way, how cool is this little one-ton pickup? Bad little unit, man. We're pretty much done. Alex is gonna de-rig. I'm gonna do it really quick too. And then help him so we can get out of here quick. Grab a water bottle from my boy Jeffrey. This guy looks parched. Just like that, we're done. Fully strapped, secured, and chained up as best as they can. Flippers put away. We had to dig out all the rocks from the outriggers. Hulk's done. Another job all done. I gotta take off on another job right now, but hopefully uh, Alex still has some juice in his camera. He can record the offload process. Until next time for me, peace.